So with the second Deadpool and Wolverine trailer already officially completed and just waiting to be released in the next couple of weeks by Disney and of course Marvel Studios, we all know and we've talked about this before that Deadpool 3 is the only saving grace for the Walt Disney Company at this point, at least when it comes to their Marvel Studios division, to at least have one potential success for 2024 on their hands, apart from all of the failures throughout 2023. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So those behind the scenes of Deadpool 3, the creators like Ryan Reynolds, Paul Wernick, Rhett Reese, Sean Levy, and even if you want to throw in Hugh Jackman in there, you know, they've all really been standing their ground and defending this film and really going on with this battle against the Disney heads, including Bob Iger to pushing DEI into the third act of the film via the upcoming and looming reshoots that yes are set to begin by this April that will last until May just before that July release date window. Now interestingly enough there's a lot of wins and victories that actually happened all because of Ryan Reynolds and really how he stood his ground and really really defended himself about the creation of this film and how it's his vision and how it needs to be done in the proper way or else. And this is probably the first time throughout all of 2024 so far that we have seen Disney beginning the cave time and time again due to, of course, their disgraceful push for their usage of DEI that is only failing one after the other. Now, on top of all of this, what's interesting about this push has a lot to do also with She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany. Now, with all divisions at the Walt Disney Company showing no signs of a resolution in sight, one major development has much to do with She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany and Ryan Reynolds after the recent Deadpool 3 drama got even worse. However, recently Ryan Reynolds had yet another win slash victory against his battle with the Disney heads with director Sean Levy by his side, including writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. After all, one fight with those like Bob Iger and Kevin Feige who were pushing to reinstate many of Tatiana Maslany's cancelled scenes that were planned to be reshot for the upcoming reshoots for Deadpool 3 that are set to begin by this April. Both Ryan and Sean recently got their wish after demonstrating multiple ultimatums against those like Iger and Feige, where, in not, where of course it has now been officially finalized that all of Tatiana Maslany's scenes as She-Hulk on the big screen have been cancelled outright altogether from the third act of the film and that it has been agreed that any previously shot footage will not be allowed to show up on either the Blu-ray edition of the film in the future or the digital version on Disney Plus streaming. This consisted of a planned and mapped out three scenes that were considered to be major and completely cancelled due to Ryan Reynolds speaking up about his concerns with the third act reshoots of the film. One scene involved She-Hulk battling against Wolverine portrayed by Hugh Jackman where Wolverine loses the fight against She-Hulk and gets nearly ended by She-Hulk via the storyboards that were forced from Kevin Feige to the creators of Deadpool 3 to be prepared ahead of the reshoots. The dialogue that came along with that fight between Wolverine and She-Hulk was best described as a deal breaker for the third act of the third Deadpool film and a massive shift in tone compared to the previous two acts that would have certainly created a loss of viewers or audience members in the theater. The second scene that was also axed and cancelled altogether thanks to Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy standing their ground involved She-Hulk giving a speech about taking down the patriarchy to Deadpool and Wolverine. This was a scene that was considered to hold improvised dialogue created by Kevin Feige and that was the gist of that scene that was planned out that they were set to film by this May, specifically within the second week of May, toward the tail end of reshoots. The third scene was described to be the worst of all in which She-Hulk teams up with an all-female-led series of X-Men characters that were classics, some of which were going to be gender-swapped X-Men characters or race-swapped characters from different universes and that Iger and Kevin were using the multiverse as an excuse to justify their usage of race and gender swapping for Deadpool 3's X-Men characters. All three scenes that were storyboarded for Tatiana Maslany and her performance have been axed officially and are no longer happening and already, get this, Ryan Reynolds is pushing Disney to give Henry Cavill a major role to replace some of those scenes. 
Now, let me stop here before I move on, guys, because what's really exciting about this is how there are a lot more victories now outweighing the losses when it comes to Ryan's battle against Disney. This is why I believe that this may have a good chance at becoming one of the first great Marvel movies in a very long time. Not because it's a Disney movie per se, but because this is an ongoing battle internally between Ryan, Sean, Rhett, Paul, and Hugh going up against Bob Iger and Kevin. They never saw this coming. Marvel never saw this coming, Disney did not expect this, and it's sort of like a reverse expectation. Yes, it's a Disney movie, I get that. Some people may not want to support this regardless. But on the flip side of things, Ryan is really setting an example that he can make Disney cave if he gives out the right ultimatums, where he points out their weak spots of how they really do need him in certain circumstances to make the MCU a savable brand per se. So moving onwards, all right, let's get into the next part of this, is that though of course the plans revolving around Cavill's role are unclear, rumblings have indicated that he will be portraying a Wolverine variant or Captain Britain as a surprise cameo. The push though by Reynolds is happening to have Henry Cavill take over the recently cancelled Tatiana Maslany scenes as She-Hulk from the planned reshoots for Deadpool 3 that are set to begin filming by this spring. Now, again, April and May are going to be very big, key months because they are going to be re reframing, essentially, the third act. All right, a lot more materials going into this thing, and a lot of Bob Iger and Kevin Feige's push for DEI is seemingly beginning to fail one attempt after the other. And that's exactly why I say this holds the possibility of being more of a consistent successful film rather than the first half of the film being great and then folding off in the next half as original so they still got some challenges ahead of themselves you know bob Iger is still pushing some dei elements in there that ryan and sean are still challenging to this day but as far as i see it this is a very big victory on their end their push to give henry cavill a shot in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is interesting. It kind of reminds me of one of those unexpected situations where, you know, you got someone like John Krasinski in the MCU in uh, Multiverse of Madness as Mr. Fantastic. It's sort of like that, where they're pushing for this real fan servicey element to be thrown in to Deadpool 3, to have Cavill in there as either a Wolverine variant or Captain Britain. Those are the rumblings happening right now between those two characters. We'll have to wait and see exactly what gets finalized in the coming weeks. So again, I think that at the end of the day, no one wanted to see She-Hulk on the big screen after that series was such a big letdown and a failure to begin with. But overall, I would really love to hear what you all have to say about the ongoing drama happening between the creators of this film and the Disney higher-ups. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.